I actually run a digital media program at the University of Washington, so my graduate students are all really interested in technology, but I'm doing some media as well for the local NPR station and stuff like that. I find so intriguing about this is the integration between sort of mobile technology into appliances. So would you mind if I just did, you did a little show and tell for me? So today what we're showcasing at CES in the Samsung booth is our new wireless-enabled refrigerator. I didn't even know there was a wireless refrigerator to begin with. There is, yep. So the next generation of that is going to give you some more features. Memo is going to allow me to actually have some memos that I can post to the main screen. Now, the next generation of this allows me to take my smartphone and send a memo or a picture to that screen right there. So the concept ideally then is somebody's in the, mom's at the grocery store buying stuff, wants to send a message to the kids who are actually at home. Yeah. You do that through this. Send to your refrigerator. And if you go ahead and put your camera up there. And then you get memo. Oh, came up. So you can send a message remotely through your cell phone to your fridge. So it's designed for, you know, the busy household, the kids on the go, the the family that needs, you know, the kitchen to be the hub of the home. And you know what I find really interesting, now this already exists, the grocery manager, right? Basically I, I would add a food and then I could expire that out by selecting on the date or a calendar. Then I would get a reminder when that was going to expire to either my cell phone, it would come up as a reminder, or I would get it on the home screen as a reminder. So when I wake up in the morning, it would go through and it would at midnight check all my reminders and then it would show them up on the screen. That's terrific. So it keeps me kind of in check. You know, I'm at the grocery store, I ran to the store to go get milk and then I think, oh, you know what, should I grab eggs too? Let me check and see when those are going to expire. Just to kind of give me an idea of where I am with my food management. Epicurious is an online recipe search, so you could select maybe pork, so you're looking through your fridge, you know what you already have in your fridge, you say, hmm, what can I make with that? And you yeah. got it right there. Because we've already seen people are beginning to bring their iPads and their tablets into the kitchen, and right? Always. Yep. So I mean, this is, is the next extension of it. Ultimately, once we go to, uh, you know, maybe an Android voice based system where we're using the all share, my tablet, my cell phone, anything would actually be able to connect back to the refrigerator. What's the likelihood of the Android system getting integrated into this? It's a great question. Don't know yet. Don't so know the can't make that. that conclusively. I know okay. It's Linux right now, and that's what's important. Okay. Great. Yeah. That was terrific. Well, thank thank you. you. I really appreciate, appreciate your time. It. That's amazing. Thank, thank you. you. So the the heart. The central nervous system of this in-home appliance command system is this all-share control, and it's Android-based, which means that you're going to see Android jump off of your cell phone or your tablet and into your appliances from home, uh, washer, dryer to fridge.